How you going guys? Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. Today's job is a auger drive from a cardboard compacting unit. A customer called me a couple of days ago and said he has a shaft about 130 mil in diameter that has got a worn area where the bearing has locked up and uh, damaged the shaft. I figured that would be a good candidate for a spray welding job. Um, he did bring it in and it's, it's a lot worse than what I thought it was going to be, yes. So spray welding won't be a, um, a good suitable fit for this one. That was caused by a bearing failure. Uh, it didn't get caught uh, in time, it just did a lot of damage. So it's not generally a repair procedure we would do for a shaft like this, but the customer has said that they're actually gonna change the machines out. Being that this machine will be changed out in a couple of months time, the customer doesn't wanna spend any money on it. So we're just gonna do a quick repair to get them out of trouble to keep them moving. Um, no warranty on a repair like this. This is 100% on the customer. I've stated my thoughts. Um, they're more than happy to say, yep, if it breaks, it breaks. So we're gonna finish setting this up in the machine so we can get the job started. So we've got the shaft all dialed in now, um, just having a look at a few bits of the damage that are on this uh, piece of material. So we've got a, looks to be a wear groove that's been worn in by a lip seal. We're going to have to fix that up. Uh, we've also got some, uh, we'll probably just give this sort of stuff a bit of a linish, few scratches and a few dings and marks in the shaft. Looks like the, uh, the, the drive gear picked up here. Give that a tidy up, but this is our main problem here. We're going to come in now and machine away a lot of this damaged material and um, spend some time welding that up. Right, guys, so in this particular case, we were very lucky. The customer actually has a drawing of what this shaft's dimensions are, its shoulders, uh, tolerances, everything. So that's going to be really handy when we go and uh, finish machine this. So I've just cleaned up the area where the bearing's done all the damage. So um, we're going to go through now and set it up on the rotator, weld all that up. We've got about 10, 10 mil of build up to do to bring that back to a point where we can then machine it back to spec.
Yeah, look quite enough. Down here is fine. See, we'll now be pushing it. Right on guys, so we've set the part back up in the machine, completed all the welding we had to do on that shaft, we built everything up, I uh, had to put a couple of layers down in a few areas because there was so much material missing and I had to remove so much to clean them up. It's been cooling off for the past five or six hours now, so now that it's all set up again and dialed in, we're going to start to machine it to size.
Right on guys, so we've, uh, we've finished the majority of the machining on this part. Uh, this surface here was a for a, a new set of um, ball bearings that the customers supplied. Uh, we need to shoot for 130 mil for the shaft size. Um, we are just a fraction over 130 mil. So with a bit of emery paper, we'll be able to sort out that. Yeah, that is spot on. Copy. Doing stuff? Yep. Right. <laughs> Begin. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to think the best way to say this. <clears throat> Ready? Mm -hmm. Right, I, oh wait, we didn't even talk about putting that back in the machine. <laughs> Are we going? <laughs> it's a bit yeah. fucking late. No, we can, I can make it work. Right. Eh? So we'll finish getting it set, set up to get the set it up in the machine and uh, get get machining. Righto, guys. So we've pet we've pet. <laughs>
petted the part. Petted the part. <laughs> okay. See how it's 130.0. Where the frick does it say that? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, these are 125 okay. to 150. Okay. Okay, I'm explaining this to Karen now. <laughs> 125 to 150. So here we have 130. So you can see the end of the three there. So that there is 130 mil. At the moment, we're sitting right there. Oh, it's, yeah. So with a bit of emery paper, we'll be able to sort out that little bit of a problem. Right. Being that it is slightly warm, I mean not even close to warm, you could put your penis on that and wouldn't <laughs> so, um, I wouldn't recommend doing that wouldn't though. I wouldn't recommend it the sharp things. But um yeah that is spot on. Pretty fucking good. <laughs> I just that was my fucking head. Fantabulous. Gnarly. Gnarly is such a cool word. Are you going to attempt the cling wrap? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Just needed a handle. <laughs> oh, coming soon. Curtis is getting a quick change tool post. Where are you going? 